This is important to note that production plan is the first and the foremost element of production planning and control. Planning refers to deciding in advance what is to be done in future. A separate planning department is established in the organization which is responsible for the preparation of policies and plans with regard to production to be undertaken in due course. The planning department prepares various charts, manuals, production budgets etc. on the basis of information received from management. These plans and charts or production budgets are given practical shape by carrying various elements under production control. If production planning is defective, production control is bound to be adversely affected. For achieving the production targets, production planning provides sound basis for production control. One needs to remember that production plans are prepared in advance at top level whereas, production control is exercised at machine shop floor, bottom level, where actual production is taking place. Some important elements of production planning and control have been depicted as we can see in this figure. The important elements may be listed as following. Number 1. Materials. Planning for procurement of raw material, component and spare parts in the right quantities and specifications at the right time from the right source at the right place. Purchasing, storage, inventory control, standardization, variety reduction. Value analysis and inspection are the other activities associated with material. Number 2. Method. Choosing the best method of processing forms several alternatives. It also includes determining the best sequence of operations, process plan, and planning for tooling, jigs and fixtures etc. Number 3. Machines and equipment. Manufacturing methods are related to production facilities available in production systems. It involves facilities planning, capacity planning, allocations, and utilization of plant and equipment, machines, etc. Number 4. Manpower. Planning for manpower, labor and managerial levels, having appropriate skills and expertise. Element number 5. Routing. Determining the flow of work material handling in the plant, and sequence of operations or processing steps. This is related to consideration of appropriate shop layout, plant layout, temporary storage location for raw materials, component and semi-finished goods, and of materials handling system. Now, when we are talking about routing, another important term that comes into context is, route sheet. A route sheet is a document providing information and instructions for converting the raw material in finished part or product. It defines each step of the production operations and lay down the precise path or route through which the product will flow during the conversion process. Route sheet contains following information. The operation required at their desired sequence. Machines or equipment to be used for each operations. Estimated set of time and operation time per piece. Tools, jigs, and fixtures required for operations. Detailed drawings of the part sub-assemblies and final assemblies. Specification, dimensions, tolerances, surface finishes and quality standard to be achieved. Specification of raw material to be used. Speed, feed etc. to be used in machines tools for operations to be carried on. Inspection procedure and metrology tools required for inspection. Packing and handling instructions during movement of parts and sub-assemblies through the operation stages. Element number 6, Estimating. Establishing operation times leading to fixations of performance standards both for worker and machines. Estimating involves deciding the quantity of the product which needs to be produced and cost involved in it on the basis of sale forecast. Estimating manpower. Machine capacity and material required meeting the planned production targets are like the key activities before budgeting for resources. Number 7. Loading. Machine loading is the process of converting operation schedule into practices in conjunctions with routing. Machine loading is the process assigning specific jobs to machines, men, or work centers based on relative priorities and capacity utilization. Loading ensures maximum possible utilization of productive facilities and avoid bottleneck in production. It's important to either overloading or underloading the facilities, work centers or machines to ensure maximum utilization of resources. Element number 8. Scheduling. 
scheduling ensure that parts and sub-assemblies and finished goods are completed as per required delivery dates. It provides a timetable for manufacturing activities. So, what are the purposes of scheduling? We need scheduling to prevent unbalanced use of time among work and centers and department. And to utilize labor such a way that output is produced within established lead time or cycle time so as to deliver the products on time and complete production in minimum total cost. Then comes element number 9, dispatching. This is concerned with the execution of the planning functions. It gives necessary authority to start a particular work which has already planned under routing and scheduling functions. Dispatching is release of orders and instructions for starting of production in accordance with routing sheet and scheduling charts. Number 10. Inspection. This function is related to maintenance of quality in production and of evaluating the efficiency of the processes, methods and labor so that improvement can be made to achieve the quality standards set by product design. Number 11. Evaluating. The objective of evaluating is to improve performance. Performance of machines, processes and labor is evaluated to improve the same. And finally, element number 12, cost control. Manufacturing cost is controlled by wastage reduction, value analysis, inventory control and efficient utilization of all resources.